Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. It's pleasant good evening to you. And thank you for joining us in Pure Prophetic Monday. Today is going to be a very special day. I want you to go ahead and start inviting friends, family, everybody, loved ones, neighbors, whoever. As I said, it's going to be a special evening, so go right ahead and start inviting people to join us. Those of you who are new to the channel, I want to welcome you in a special way. Thank you for connecting this evening. Go ahead and invite someone right now. You are going to hear me saying this throughout the program to invite somebody. Tomorrow happens to be Valentine's Day, and we are having a Valentine's special this evening, but you need to invite someone. So go ahead and do so. God bless you once more for connecting. On behalf of our prophet, Dr. Philip Acker, our First Lady Sarah Acker, and the entire leadership of the Axe Ministry, we welcome you and we delight in you for taking your precious time to join us this evening. God richly bless you. Invite a friend, a loved one, a family member, or those of you who are new, have your water with you and your extra tea with you. We also want you to come on as your question is all about love. What do you need to know about love? Are you dating or you're in a relationship? Are you married? The answers are right here on this platform this evening. So don't be shy and don't be afraid. You need to know what happens during the time you're dating. If you're not yet married, come on in and ask your question. And God will richly bless you for, for doing so. As you do that, you will be helping somebody else. Praise God. On the platform with me, none other than our CEO, Prophet Dr. Philip Acker. Prophet, you are very welcome. Greet your viewers in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, wonderful people. I am excited as usual to come to you today in the name of Jesus. And I'm more than willing to avail myself for God to use me to bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to encourage you to go ahead, invite a loved one, invite a friend to connect in the name of Jesus, as my sister Caroline said. She said today is a Valentine's Day edition about pure prophetic. Amen. That will be wonderful, Valentine's Day edition with the prophetic. But I think people will have issues with you. Because you are always saying people that are in relationship, that are, what about those that are also not in relationship, if not you're married? Dating, if you are dating, if you're in a relationship. What if about you those are that single, are single? Uh -huh. Praise God. Thank you so much. Now, for somebody <laughs> says, now you're talking. If you are single, <laughs> we want you to come on in and we want you to ask your questions and don't be shy. Don't be afraid to do so. Amen. Just ask your question, single folk. Married. <laughs> uh, anything you need to know about love. Okay? God bless you. Prophet, you're going to pray as we continue in Amen. the name of Jesus. People of God, let's pray. Father, Amen. we thank you for such an opportunity in the name of Jesus. You have given unto us in your presence, O oh God. In your presence, your word says there is fullness of joy in the name of Jesus. We pray your spirit in the mighty name of Jesus will minister to us. Let your power be activated, O oh God. Your word says the word that we speak is spirit and life. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ that, Father, as you speak through us, it will quicken spirits and it will give life to your people in every situation and area they find themselves in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Prophet. Thank you so much. <laughs> as I said, it's a very special evening about love. We want to go deeper. So come on in and ask your questions. All very much. All of you that join, all of you that are supporting, wherever you are, you, you connected, you made sure you came on from Friday to Sunday. You came into the sanctuary. We want to thank you for your presence. Bless you and we pray has been changed in a friendly way. Any name. Amen. So, Prophet, I want to ask you something. Do you have a question in Zoom? Okay. 
and ask your question. Or we'll say if you are not able to do it, of work, you cannot come on camera, then I will be the license to take your picture. Okay. In this three-day program, we talk about, talk, you, you talk about uh, value. Mm -hmm. And I believe that is L O V. That was a short word letter. And we can talk about learning and overcome and to overcome. You also talk about value. I want to ask you, I want to talk, you used to talk a little bit more about value. The reason for this is because we know that um, you said it's, it's not placed on a thing but on character, right? Mm -hmm. So that means on a, on a person, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm asking this to say to the person. So mm -hmm. you're in a relationship, right? value of this person, my value, your value, but during the course of the relationship, he starts to give you more than you give him. Mm -hmm. So, I want to ask, that's what I want to ask you about the value. What happens when that changes? Is it that person, what happened? That's what I want to ask. God yeah. richly bless you. Thank you. Um, you have to understand, there's a proverb that says that Nobody um, marry their enemies. Right. You have to understand that everybody that will get into marriage, they marry their loved ones, mm -hmm. not their enemies. And uh, when we say character mm -hmm. changes, that is true. Yes. But character does not change by itself. Unless you enter into that relationship, you entered into that marriage whereby the man or the woman, you did not discover their character well, their self. Mm -hmm. You see, people can camouflage. Right. Uh, there's a proverb that says that character is like pregnancy. Character is like what? Pregnancy. You can't hide it. You can hide it, but you can't hide it for a long time. No matter how, you know, you hide it, it will eventually comes out, right? So when you are in a relationship, there are certain things you must check. And if you check them, as I really explained during the three days love story program, uh, you are going to spot all the characters. Yes. You understand that the first thing that you must begin to touch when you are in relationship or when you enter into one or you are about to enter into one, you must first check the letter L of love. Yes. Which I said is what? Learning. Learning, yes. You must learn. It's, it's, it is the time to learn. Learn things about the person inside out. Learn as you begin to focus on learning or studying the individual, you know, you are going to begin to pick certain things up. Yes. If you don't or you, you, you lose God of, you know, learning, when you enter into a relationship, that's when you are going to be surprised of a lot of things mm. when you finally get married. Ah. Yes. Because if I believe God is with you mm -hmm. and you are really learning, yes, right, you are going to see certain things that will repeat, even if they hide. Mm. Because number one, you are not a worldly person. Mm -hmm. You are a child of God, mm -hmm. which means that you have the spirit of God in you, yes. which means that you are connected to God. Right. As you are learning and praying towards that, you know, marriage or praying about that relationship, God is also going to help you to focus on certain areas. But if you enter into a relationship 
and you don't learn, all you want to do is just kissing and outing and having fun, that is when, after getting married, you will recognize that, oh, mm. this is not what the person used to be. The mm. person was like that since you just did not learn certain mm. things. You just did not learn certain things. If you began to learn certain things, you would have observed. You know, let's, let, let, let's go back a little bit. I want us to go back a little bit because I give certain points mm -hmm. that I believe is very important because you are, you are bringing us backwards a little bit. Yeah. And I know that you do that a lot to help those that did not have the chance, you know, to, to connect to, to the program, program. Yes. yes. But I said something that when you are in the process of learning mm -hmm. regarding your love matter, you got to learn not to bring your past in your new relationship. That's the first point I gave. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are about to enter in a relationship, it's for everybody, or you are in a relationship, before even entering to the place of getting married, mm -hmm. you must learn if the man is bringing their past into their new relationship. Now, it, if it happens like that, it is a question mark of character. You see, so it's not like the man, for example, you dating the man, you have never seen the man getting angry or he's not quick tempered. Mm -hmm. It's not that I'm talking about. Right. Now, when we are talking about question mark on character, yes. there are ways to discover them, even if they have not exposed it or if they are hiding it. Mm. That is why learning process is very important. Yes. If you meet a man, if you meet a woman, and that man, that woman is bringing their past, into their new relationship, whatever pass, it's a sign that they have character issue mm. or there is a question mark on their character. That is when the point number two comes in, oh, then you learn to help them to overcome. Mm. If you don't learn to help them to overcome, then you are going to suffer. So I gave, if we check, very, please, media team, people are, you know, uh, complaining, please, if you can see the messages, please. If there is anything, humbly send, send it to the team. Don't send it to us. Amen. Very important so that together everything can go well. Amen. Very, very important. They are saying that I think Sister Karen's mic is very low mm -hmm. because I think it is very wide. It is placed very wide. So, and the face is, I think, hiding somewhere. <laughs> Amen. So let me, let me go a bit deeper here. Okay. I gave about four points, four points when it comes to learning. Yes. And these four points, you know, reveal the character of a person that you are in a relationship with or you are going to be in a relationship with. Yes. This four points I reveal, mm -hmm. you got to really check that when you are about to enter into a relationship or you are in a relationship, when somebody talks to you and tells you, hey, you know, this and that, and also you are, you are having something for them. Mm -hmm. The first thing is as you are working with them, mm -hmm. as you are studying them, as they are taking you out to go eat, as you are going to the movies, don't just enjoy that moment. Learn if they are bringing their past. Mm. If any time they are talking to you, if any time they are dealing with you, it's always about their past, then there is an issue. There is a question mark on their character. Point number two I shared, learning individual differences. Yes. If the person you are dating or the person you are in courtship with or the person you are planning to, to, to enter into courtship with, if they cannot recognize or learn individual 
differences in the area of character, mm -hmm. then there is a question mark on their character. They are going to be a selfish individual. Wow. You are going to suffer because they will not care about what you are going through. They will not care about your expression. They will ignore a lot of things. And this thing will not make your love story better. Mm. Somebody that you enter in relationship with, because when you get married to them, my dear, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's it. very hard. It's mm. very difficult. You see, there are some people, if we know all these um, things I'm teaching, uh, there are some men you have gotten married to, there are some women you have said, yes, I do. You would have never do that. Mm -hmm. Because you, you, whilst you guys were walking, you saw all this. You saw that they couldn't learn. They couldn't, you know, when it comes to differences, they are always opposing their differences over yours. Mm -hmm. Wow. They have forgotten that this is how you are. This is how, you see, it goes back to what you ask to place value. Mm -hmm. You know, and value is placed on character. Yes. So all these four points in the beginning, which is the first letter L, reveals or lets you know more about the character of the individual. And I said the third thing you got to know, learning not to leave somebody's relationship or love story. Mm -hmm. When you are dating somebody, when you are in courtship with somebody, when you are trying to know somebody and they are trying to bring their friends, their mm. sisters, their brother's relationship to make you leave it, it is a sign, a question mark on wow. their character. Mm. It means you're not safe. Mm. In character wise, he's not a married material. Mm. He's not a husband. She's not a wife. Mm. He is a boy and she is a girl. Oh. Yes. When you are talking about mature person, what differentiates a mature man mm -hmm. from an inf infant or a, a, a young boy, a or, young girl. boy mm -hmm. or girl mm -hmm. is in the area of character and maturity in things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now, if you learn all this about this individual, and then you do what? You overcome with him. Mm. If he's not willing to overcome, which is to learn, yes. to change. Mm -hmm. Whilst you are getting to know him, when you get married, forget. Oh. <laughs> it will start from right there, from the onset. And the last thing I said, learning not to entertain unhealthy conversation. Mm -hmm. There are some people when you are you know, in, in relationship with, you are learning to know them, they are always opening door for unhealthy relationship. I mean, conversation, conversation. sorry. And this is very dangerous. If you observe these three major points and you see that mm, they are failing, I am failing, it is a sign for you to work on your character. But what is an, an unhealthy conversation? Like what? Un, unhealthy conversations are mm -hmm. conversations that will attack emotion. That will not put res, respect or value mm. on, on your emotion. For example... Um, I'm in a relationship with somebody yes. uh, or I'm getting to know somebody. Yes. I have to be really careful how my utterances are. Mm. For mm -hmm. example, when I came out yesterday this way, yes. emotionally, it was not easy for my, 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 the person the I'm person getting to know. Right. right. So mm -hmm. I, I need to, you know, after learning all this, you, you will find out how to engage in healthy conversation. Mm. So anytime you guys are conversating, you guys are talking, always there is peace, love is reigning, nobody is angry, nobody is insulting anybody, yes. nobody is disrespecting anybody. You know, if, if our conversation will, will, will release disrespect, mm. will bring anger, will bring argument, will, will cause each other to insult each other, and say all sort of things, mm -hmm. they, these are what we call unhealthy conversation. Yes. You see? And this boils down to what? Character. Mm. You see that? Yes. So if I get to the place V, mm. to place value, value. on character, mm. it means I have learned, number one. Mm -hmm. I have overcome, overcome yes. number two. You mm -hmm. get what? <laughs> yes, yes. So it's yes, not yes. just, see, no, there are some people that will hide their character. You will never see who they are, 
how dangerous they could be. Mm -hmm. But if for the first beginning, the four points I've given you, mm -hmm. if they are not passing, it is giving you an idea that question there is a question mark. mark. Yes. Even though they are hiding, but you get to know there is a question mark. You get to know that this is what I have to touch. This is the bottom I have to work. Mm -hmm. push. Wow. Yes. Thank you so much, Prophet. Amen. People of God, come on in, ask your question. S singles, married, dating, wherever you are this time, you can come on in and ask your question. Praise God. Invite somebody, invite somebody. If you're on Facebook, you can give us some stars. Thank you for doing so. If you have a question, wherever you are, as I said before, if you are not able to come on Zoom, you can send your question in. But we encourage you to come on Zoom and ask your question. So if you're in Zoom right now and you have a question, you can just put your hand up and let the multimedia team bring you on and ask your question. Praise God. We thank you so much. Now, Prophet, because we just speak about this, I want to ask you, so my question is, how... I'm going to ask this question. It's not a foolish question. How can Christian, or what should, let me, let me rephrase it. What should we expect as Christian, let me say two single people, you're Christian and you're dating. Mm -hmm. How is that dating supposed to go? What, what should we, what sh let me say me, what should I expect in, in dating as a Christian? As a Christian. Yes. Now, the scripture gives us a guideline. What we can and cannot do okay. on the surface. Not, not, we're not going deep. We're just going on the surface. We are on a day. Can we hold hands? Okay. Yes. Now, let's enter into something, a scripture, very, very, very important. Because the, the scripture help us. Uh, it, the scripture does not give us specific things. Right. That it's we like can or cannot do. Right. But the scripture help us to, to understand something that before you can really, uh, or you will engage into something, you must check this one. If you don't check this one, then it can lead you to where God does not want you to be. Okay. And many people don't understand. When you are in relationship, and there are certain things you do mm -hmm. that you don't have to do. Yes. It fights your marriage blessing. Right. Mm, you yes. open a door. Yes. Right. Now, for example, if you are, you are getting to know somebody mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you open yourself and sleep with them. Yes. You are not doing yourself justice. Mm. Because you have opened your marital door for the devil to, enter. to, to, to Before marriage. do whatever mm -hmm. he wants to do. Okay. So this is what the Song of Solomon 8.1 says. Yes. I don't know if you can You can help go us. ahead. You, you want, want me, me to read? Yes, please. <laughs> Song of Solomon 8. Mm -hmm. One. One. NIV, NLT. 8-4, right? It's okay, whatever. 8-4? Yes, please. Uh, the NLT says, mm -hmm. I want you to promise, mm -hmm. O woman of Jerusalem, mm -hmm. not to awaken love until the time is right. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't wake up love. It, there is a proverb, a proverb in my country that says, don't trouble trouble. If trouble, don't trouble you. Good. So I guess this is what I say. Don't wake up love. <laughs> yes. When what? Don't wake up love mm -hmm. until the time is right. When the time is not right. Because if you wake up love, you will go away from God. Mm. You will sin. Mm. Yes. You mm -hmm. understand? Yes. You ask me, what can we do and what we cannot do yes. in relationship? In dating, yes. You know that when I hold your hands, mm -hmm. we love each other. Yes. When I begin to hold your hands, mm -hmm. I will not just hold your hands. Mm. From the hands, it will start by rubbing. Yeah. <laughs> because oh, that, that contact I just did, mm -hmm. I am waking up love. Ah. And I know it is not time to wake up love. Oh. 
Yes, because just holding a hand, it will move from one place to another. It will start holding, mm -hmm. secondly rubbing, mm -hmm. thirdly putting your hand around, around the neck, yes. mm. hugging, yes. then kissing, yes. then then yes. then yes. then. Ah, I got you. So right. Yes. It's not time to wake up love. So I would try not to engage myself into certain things right. that will bring me to the city of love. Mm. I won't pick a taxi of love. No. I won't play games of love. Mm. I won't play certain things of love. I will keep the relationship in the position of understanding what I am engaging into. Mm -hmm. So when I am in a relationship, because it's not time for me to wake up love, yes. it's time for me to work and know if this person is the right person that yes. I have found. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says, he who finds. Mm -hmm. Now the first thing, when you are in relationship, is not kissing. No. It's number one, learning, as I said. Ah. Number two, overcoming certain things that must be overcome. Mm -hmm. And I said the first area that you must overcome is the area of what? The family. All this is your focus in the relationship. Ah. Number, or the third area, you must learn value. Mm -hmm. It must build in that relationship. And the last thing is emotion, how to respect each other's emotion. Mm -hmm. So when I am in love and we are moving to know each other, that's mm -hmm. why the, 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 the Christian call it courtship. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is a time, it's a process to know each other, not to sleep with each other. Right. Mm. Yes. So if you start sleeping with each other, then you are in trouble because you have waking love before what? It's time. So when I am in a relationship, it's a time for me to learn, work mm -hmm. for a better marriage. Amen. So Amen. if I don't do all this mm -hmm. during my time, of dating or courtship, mm -hmm. I will face issue in my marriage. Wow. Because I didn't do the needful right. when I'm getting to know the man. I just did what? I just rushed because my friends are getting married. Yes. Because my mommy is putting pressure on me to get married because I'm getting old. Yes. Everybody's asking me in the church, when am I getting married? So the moment the, the man came out, oh, da, 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 after three months, bang, 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 marriage, mm, 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 wedding, oh, honeymoon, <laughs> ba, 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 pregnant, mm. ba, 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 firstborn, ba, mm -hmm. ba, 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 twins. Mm -hmm. Ah, after the firstborn, after the twins, now you are going to leave marriage. And whatever you did not work on, oh, boy, will begin to catch you there. Mm. And when it catching you, that is what oh. makes that love story both of you are writing wow. a messed up story. Mm. Jesus. So whoever listening to me, if you are dating, if you are not dating, if you are in marriage, yes. please understand. And please help somebody that you know yes. with this teaching mm -hmm. that in courtship, in relationship, in dating, you don't wake up love mm. when it's not the right time. I want you to read the, the verse that follows, the verse number five. Number five says, Yes. Who is this coming up from the desert, mm -hmm. leaning on her lover? Mm -hmm. I arouse you under the apple tree mm -hmm. where your mother gave you birth, mm -hmm. where in great pain she delivered you. You mm. understand? This is Song of Solomon. This yes. is mystery here. Yes. <laughs> now you have to understand that this man talking, mm -hmm. he has experience mm -hmm. about what he's talking about. Yes. Now observe how mm. the scripture has been placed from the verse one. Read and I will 
explain line by line. Do you want me so, to read from one, you said? No, four. Okay. Yes. One, then we will go back. <laughs> uh -huh. Four says. Yes. I want you to promise. Yes. O woman of Jerusalem. Yes. Not to awaken love. Don't wake up love. Until the time is right. Until the time is right. Why? Who is this coming up from the desert? Because when you begin to see her coming up from where? The desert. Do you understand? From childhood? I don't know. Desert. From the desert. The is desert. there anything on the desert? Oh. <laughs> 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 Can we plant things on the desert? Thank you. So you understand. Okay. <laughs> okay. You get I got it now? You. Yes, yes. So I got read it you. again. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to explain line by line. <laughs> read it oh, again. Jesus Christ. Songs of Solomon 8 5 yes. says, uh -huh. Who is this coming up from the he desert? He says, When you wake up love, <laughs> yes. when it is not the time, yes. now you will begin to see. The woman mm -hmm. coming from the desert. Yes. You, yeah. you get it coming from the desert. Yes. Not from the desert like uh, mm -hmm. the normal desert. Mm -hmm. It means nakedness. Mm -hmm. It means desert, you can't plant anything. So when you begin right. to see her coming from the desert, what will happen? Leaning on her lover. Uh huh. What did observe? <laughs> Leaning. So you see here, it's not the physical desert here. Now he's coming from, he saw yes. the desert. When he saw the desert, what came? He started leaning. Mm, yes. He has, he's explaining when you wake up love Jesus before a time, mm -hmm. this is what is going mm -hmm. to happen. Mm -hmm. Now you'll be exposed to the desert where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. Now it will come to leaning. Mm -hmm. And what else? I arouse you under the apple tree uh -huh. where your mother gave you birth. Uh-huh. Where in great pain she delivered you. Now you understand what the apple tree, under the apple tree is talking about. Where your mother gave birth to you, mm -hmm. he explained. Where she had pain. Mm -hmm. when she, so under what apple tree he's talking about. What is the apple tree? Okay. God help us. God help me. Are you, are you getting the sons of Solomon? So Solomon is saying, if you wake okay. up love, when it is not the right time, then this is what you are going to expose yourself into. Yes. Yes. So when you even yes. read six, seven, you're going to find <laughs> these so. deep, deep things mm. that you will not, at the end of the day, let's continue a little bit because this is love edition. Six, yes. yes. Six says, place me like a seal over your heart. Mm. Oh. Mm. Or, or like a seal on your arm uh -huh. for love is a, is as strong as death hold on place me as a seal over your heart you understand that mm -hmm. a seal over your heart mm -hmm. is uh, uh, um heart he's talking simply in the area of marriage mm -hmm. so now if you begin to wake up love when it is not the right time you begin to see her coming from the desert. Mm. And you begin to see her leaning, leaning on you. Yes. And all of a sudden, you begin to see her apple under, under the, the apple, apple tree. tree. Yes. And after what will happen, then you are forced to marry hey. him or her. Mm. Now, when you are forced to marry, there are some job work. There are some That's things you should know you did not. It will catch up on you. Jesus. Mm. So you see the advice of Solomon. Yes. He said, don't do it. If you do it, then this, 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 will this, happen. this will happen. And the end, oh, you are Jesus. going to go through problem. So let's wow. end here. <laughs> Thank you so much. If you want to continue to read at home, People, good for you. And I pray on. God will give you understanding. Yes. <laughs> this is parable. <laughs> We thank God. People Amen. of God, come on in. Ask your questions. I know you guys have questions, so let me see. Sister Olga, your hand is up. Thank you so much. Bring her. Bring Multimedia her, bring team, her. come on in and bring Sister Olga. She has a question for the man of God. Come on, bring Sister Olga.
We want you all to get ready to ask your questions. It's a love edition this yeah, evening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, my, 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 my son my is son on now. now, 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 now. We can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, okay, okay yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, yes uh, first of all, thank you, Prophet, for the three days one program. One minute. I learned a lot and I uh, was uh, very blessed. Can you hear me? I have uh, two questions. Uh -huh. And the one is uh, the first one is related to the program. Uh -huh. One uh, about the learning uh, um, to learn uh, individual differences. Yes. That you just explained now. Uh -huh. uh, my question is: When, when uh, I understand that everybody is unique and we have to learn from each other as a couple, uh -huh. but if uh, the wife or the husband wants to make some changes of the aspect uh -huh. of uh, the other one, which touch like the nature of the person? The, for example, the person is the person's the personal choice. I give an example. There are some women they don't uh, they want to uh, wear uh, natural hair. They don't like wigs. They don't have like uh, to braid their hair. They don't like anything uh, artificial hair. If, for example, the um, the husband wants them. In the opposite, in the opposite, the husband likes those things, yes. and he wants her to. Is it not like trying to make her another person, somebody she's not? Okay. Mm. Thank you very much. This is a good question. Amen. That is why I said understanding individual differences. You know. Understanding individual differences is very important. Mm -hmm. If the lady you are learning to 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 you know like you are you want to get married to you are dating mm -hmm. you are in courtship with mm -hmm. right if if yes, yes, yes. the lady is a lady that is natural individual yes love natural stuff don't like this uh, wig and all that because it make her head go crazy because she cannot handle the heat, you know. It melts <laughs> her brain and all that, you know. It is, mm -hmm. if the man is forcing you to do what is not in your element mm -hmm. and you feel it to be a force, Remember what I said. Mm -hmm. It becomes a character issue. Question mark, yes. So then you should be aware mm -hmm. that if you are set to marry this man, you'll be forced to do a whole lot of things. Mm -hmm. That will be outside your element. Mm -hmm. wow. Because at the beginning, it was revealed. Mm. You understand? If mm -hmm. the man sees that yes. in your nature, you love natural things, and the man loves you, what will show that the man loves you is the man is going to love your natural self that's, that's as you right. are. Amen. The man will place yes. value on your, who you are. Yes. You understand? Amen. If the man sees that. Yes. 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 So it's all about you learning at the beginning. If the man will feel that you are forced to put on certain things, to do certain things. Yes, when you get married, I was given an example, I think Sunday or Saturday, mm. that uh, maybe your husband will love you to walk in high heels. Right. And you have never done that before. And you have to try to do it. Mm -hmm. Now, don't forget, I did not say that during relationship or courtship, mm. I said in marriage. In marriage, yes. Because that time you guys have learned from really each other. Yes. You have learned from each other differences. Mm -hmm. You guys have moved to, to uh, overcoming things. Yes. You guys, so now you guys are married. So you guys know. Yes. You know, so I was talking about in marriage. I was not talking about when you are dating the person. When you are dating that individual, it's a process of learning. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. So during that process, yes, if yes, you yes. feel forced, like you are telling me right now, and it's being pushed, God is speaking to you, that the man you want to tie not together 
in the future, this is the area that he's going to work from. He's going to pressure you, move you, mm. not respecting your emotion and respecting who you are. Wow. Is it clear? It is clear. Thank you, Prophet. Amen. Next question. Next question is uh, about the bright price. Uh, I'd like to know, biblically uh, speaking, if it is mandatory, because I know in uh, many cultures in Africa, there is a bright price, and I believe in some other parts of the world. And some families, they put the price so high that it's happened that some young uh, people they not they are not uh, they cannot afford it mm -hmm. so i would like to know if the bride price is mandatory for people before getting married okay thank you very much for the bride price every culture is different that is what genesis chapter 2 said the man will leave the mother and father right so if you are coming to take my daughter I can just tell you that I don't need nothing from you. I don't want you to buy my daughter. Mm -hmm. Making mm -hmm. you feel that you pay maybe $100,000 mm. so you own my daughter because mm. you've bought my daughter. Mm -hmm. There are some people that, mm -hmm. that does that. Mm. I don't want nothing. Mm -hmm. All I want is you treat my daughter well. Yes. All I want is you treat my son well. Yes. You get what I mean? You see, in some culture, it's not even the man that marries the woman. It's the woman that marries the man. Mm. Yes. Oh. I think somewhere in India. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, somewhere in the Arab uh, culture there, if you want to marry a woman, the first thing you do, you have to make sure you are able to afford a pure gold wow. ring or pure gold chain, mm -hmm. something that is pure gold and give it to the woman. If you can't afford it, means you can't marry the woman. So wow. we don't have the same culture. Right. And for you to, for the parent to release their child to you, you must do what they desire. Mm. If you come to uh, Isaac, mm -hmm. Isaac went to the, 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 the father's home to get married. And the, the, mm -hmm. the deal between Isaac and his uncle Laban mm -hmm. for the wife, Rachel, right? Yes. Was that he worked, <laughs> you Jesus. know, he worked. And after he has finished working, mm. he had to work extra. Again. Yes. So for the bride price, every family, every culture is different. There are some people, they don't even agree and believe in their culture. Oh. Right? Mm -hmm. They are here, they have yeah, been yeah, here, yeah, yeah. They, their daughter find their lover here, they see that everything is going well, they, they have given the advice, things are okay, they want to get married, even it's the parent that will help them. So it, we are talking about mm -hmm. culture differences, mm -hmm. right? And that mm -hmm. one you have to go through. Mm -hmm. So there is no specific, okay. uh, you know, Something that you have to, uh, there, there was something that happened. Somebody was getting married mm -hmm. and uh, based on their culture, they have to go through certain things. And uh, the person, the son told the dad, I'm not going to do this because I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm. And the dad said that Christianity and culture goes together. <laughs> Christ came to meet culture. Mm -hmm. So if you're not doing it, then nobody is accepting this Wow. So the case came before mm -hmm. me, and I said, you got to apply wisdom. Mm. Whatever you must do, mm -hmm. do it so that the person or you will be relieved. Mm. Unless mm -hmm. whatever you are doing involves demonic initiation. Jesus. If it involves mm -hmm. demonic initiation, then after doing it, you have to face deliverance for the rest of your marriage time. Right. But mm -hmm. apart from not being a demonic relation, because Bible says that light and darkness has mm -hmm. nothing in common. Mm -hmm. So if it, it doesn't oppose the light, then 
you got the word, respect mm -hmm. your culture or the agreement and go through it. And you are right, mostly Africa. The, the thing is too crazy. When you are going to marry somebody, they want you to, you know, marry them and after become broke. Mm. Jesus. They will, they will charge a whole lot of crazy things. <laughs> you have to buy clothes. You have to buy clothes. You have to buy and buy even the ladies' personal stuff, mm. underwears and all that. Mm. You have to have a money you give to the brothers. If the, the lady you are going to get married to, that is my culture, have about 20 brothers, you have to make sure you sort all of them hey. out. <laughs> Oh, if <laughs> they have sisters, you make sure yeah, they, yeah. you sort all their sisters out. Before, after then, you sort their father out. You sort their mother out. You sort their, their, their elder, the, the chief elder. Oh. You know, you sort... Uh, your okay, tobacco you're a millionaire. <laughs> By the time you finish, you're you guys have to drink water during honeymoon. So, to me, I think it's too much. Yeah. It's too wow. much. And me personally, if you should ask me that I will allow my daughter to go through this, mm. I will tell you I don't think so. No way. No. Because they are young, as you said. Mm -hmm. Example. Mm -hmm. And they need to save money to start life. Yes. Yes. They mm -hmm. don't have to start life with emptiness. Mm. So mm -hmm. a good parent will not empty their pocket and bank account of, of uh, their son and the future mm -hmm, to, to mm -hmm. start life struggling. No. Jesus. So if you are a parent from Africa, let God deliver you from this. <laughs> Don't repeat the same thing. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you, prophet. Thank you so much, Sister Olga, for asking your question. God it's bless crazy, you. I'm telling you. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right, Sister Sh Chantal says, ah, so you are marrying the entire family. I'm telling you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Sister Wumi says, some culture do that. And I do pity the couple, especially I'm the man. I'm telling oh, you. Oh, my God. Wow. It that is, is why there are some people, they want to get married to their, their you know, women they have been dating. Yeah. But the money is not there. The amount of money the family is charging, you know, and they love them, but they can't get married. So, so, so even it's not good, you put, <laughs> if the person is not strong in Christ, mm -hmm. you, will, you will let them do things. Oh, Jesus. It's this, I don't know where the mindset is from. But it's a cultural thing. Oh, my dear. There are certain, me personally, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. If your parents or if the person you are get, getting married to uh, their parents is asking this. You have no choice. The only choice you have, you have to fast and pray that God change your mind. So you <laughs> telling me the woman cannot say what well, no to her parents that I, no I don't want what? this. They will tell you no for what? No. Huh? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. It is well. <laughs> now you have to even, the first thing you go and do what we call knocking. That knocking is to go and take all the list that the family wants. Huh? Yes, you take a list of everything. So the next time you are coming, you are coming with all. If you have to buy, you buy them. If you, you have to come with in a cash, it has to come in a cash, you bring them all together. So some, some list, my goodness, <laughs> oh, Jesus. it's more than 200 items plus money plus this. And oh, no. if, if you, you are not lucky and that family has... Uh, a lot of, uh, they are big family, 22 children, no. 55 children, then you have to borrow money from the bank. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. So that, that's trouble number one for you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let's see. Sister Wumi saying, yeah, some things on the list is enough to make you, is to make you not marry. That's right. Time to elope and migrate, says Sims. Amen. <laughs> Oh, boy, let's see what uh, NASP says. NASP says, powerful teaching. I'm understanding Proverbs for the first time. <laughs> this is rich prophet. <laughs> Sister NASP, do you have a question now for the man of God? You should come on in and ask your question. So if anyone has a question here, just come and ask your question. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid. 
if you are single, if you are married, if you are in a relationship, you are dating, you are thinking of getting married, you can come on in and ask your question this evening because th this is what this evening is all about. Do you want to go deeper in your marriage or how deep should you go in dating? You can just come and ask the question. Praise God. Amen. So now, uh, Nasby says, no, ma'am. I understand <laughs> what you do and expect when I finally meet the one. Praise God. <laughs> now we are getting it. So we thank God. Amen. Amen. So, Prophet, um, let me see what I want to ask you right now. Before I ask you the question, I want to remind the people tomorrow is Tuesday. We are meeting 9 p.m. on the prayer line. We do not want you to come alone, please. When you're coming on, invite someone to join us for the prayer tomorrow night. Praise God. Amen. So now, um, I want to ask you this question. And you mentioned it. You said, let me find it first. He who finds a wife, right? That's what the word of God mm -hmm. says. Mm -hmm. So my question is, does that mean you, you, are the, you are the one, I know that I am the one that has to find, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Not God that's finding it for me. It no. is me that's finding. No. But then the word of God also says that what God put together, let no man, what he joins together, let no man put asunder. Yes. So how did God come in this part now? Because God comes in. Yes. Okay, finish. I don't want to. No, go ahead. Because what I was going to say because the, the, this is what the word of God is saying both ways. Mm -hmm. He who finds. It means God is not going to help me to do this. I have to be looking. I'm finding this person for myself. Mm -hmm. Then God is joining us together as man and wife. Mm -hmm. So what he joins, mm -hmm. no man put asunder. Mm -hmm. But what if now <laughs> the person that I find is mm -hmm. not the right person? Okay. Now, God comes in here in Matthew 18, 19. We are going to Matthew 18, 19. You have to find it. You have to search it. And God, what? Agrees. So when you find it, you search it, you bring to God, God seals it. Matthew 18, 19. I also tell you this. Yes. If two of you agree, mm -hmm. down here on earth concerning anything you ask, mm -hmm. my Father in heaven would do it for you. This is where God comes in. So if two of you agree that now we are going to get married, then my Father comes in and do it for you. Perfect. <laughs> I am in the middle of this one. So I know, I always come on this platform, I say there are no stupid questions. But I am going to ask this question because it cannot be a stupid question. <laughs> so, if two agree, mm -hmm. then God comes in the mid. He That's says, right. okay, you both agree to get married. It is okay. Go ahead it's to like, get married. For example, God yes. has placed the process there yes. that you must go through to make sure this one, I know it without a shadow of doubt. And it's a teaching I gave during this weekend. Mm -hmm. Learning, overcoming, yes. placing value. And what? Respecting, Respecting emotion. Yes. So when you go through all this and you have known that, oh, this is well, we have overcome together. Don't marry nobody that you have not overcome anything together. That it's so dangerous. During your courtship, during your relationship, mm -hmm. you must overcome things together. You must overcome things together. <laughs> Don't, me, oh, my <laughs> boyfriend is so nice. We never fought. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. We never argue. There is no relationship that argument doesn't start. It always takes two. Sunday or Saturday, I was giving an example of my own. Yes. It's not that it doesn't start, but I don't entertain. Right. <laughs> so it doesn't go nowhere. <laughs> right. You get it? So you have to understand that during that courtship period, during that relationship period, all this is done. And when you are sure of it, mm. then you, when you guys agree now, 
the father comes in and joins together. Mm. And after the father joins together, he's making you to be aware. Are you sure? Mm. Because what I said aiming to wait, oh, I cannot curse it. Whom oh, God Jesus. bless, <laughs> no one cares. So after God has released his blessing, mm -hmm. it has backed it up with his power. Then, bam, it is seen. Unless, as the scripture say, one of you go against the rule that governs marriage concerning the word of God. The Bible says that one can take the decision to walk away. And when mm. you walk away, if it's not you that enter into that, you are involved to rewrite a new love story. Mm. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, prophet. <laughs> so, if we knew this, we yes. would be aware. Many of us, we did not know all this stuff, you know. And one of the amazing things is, Scripture says that God does not hold against us what we don't know. After receiving the knowledge, the Bible says that he who knows what to what to do and don't and does not do, it is a sin to them. But if you don't know, it's different case. Mm. But now you know. So next time you know the right thing and you must do the right thing. Because mm. if you don't do it and you face the same mm. marital issue, love story, then now Let's God knows again. that you know. Yes. Amen. Okay, Prophet, um, I believe that Sister Esther is here with a question for you. But I want to ask you something really, really fast. If you do not have your uh, parents' blessing, can you still go ahead and get married? It all depends on the context. Mm. If your parents are dead... If they're alive. I'm giving a whole lot of examples. All right. If your parents are dead... Yes. All right. And you have nobody, you have an orphan. Mm. Now, your spiritual parent can help you. Oh. Now, we have three typologies or three types of parent or parentship mm -hmm. you have to understand each is very important we have our heavenly parents mm -hmm. which is god yes we have our physical parent which is your father and your mother yes that joined together and gave birth to you mm -hmm. and we have your spiritual parent yes okay now from God one, okay, God, it comes to your spiritual one. Yes. Because both are spiritual, godly, spiritual, mm -hmm. and it comes to the physical God, one. Yes. So when your physical one is no more, mm -hmm. your spiritual one is covered with flesh. They can help you. Yes. Okay. Right? In some contests, there are some families that may not like the man. Mm. And therefore, they will say that they won't agree because it, it, it's a, a tribalistic issue. Oh, yeah, yeah. For example, in our tribe, we don't marry people from this tribe. Okay, yes. But it's not marriage. You are not going to marry a tribe. Right. You are marrying a character. Right. You Amen. don't even Amen. marry gift. Mm. For people that are praying to get married Jesus. to prophet, you are getting a mistake. Mm. You don't marry gift. Mm -mm. I'm telling Jesus. you the honest truth. Don't marry to prophet. Marry to character. Mm. The character of the prophet. Amen. So that's where you should look. So if it's a tribal issue, mm -hmm. but this individual you have tested, you have checked everything based on the teachings and you know that this is the one that will be right to you. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can go ahead without their involvement. But you cannot go ahead without their involvement and go like that. When you are going without their involvement, in this kind of case, you must involve your spiritual parent. Mm. Because if you don't involve your spiritual parent, it's so dangerous because your marriage has no covering. Mm. Oh. So when it comes to the spiritual side, you, you are pitiful. Very important. There are some people, they just go to the court, bam, 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 bam. Yes. Nobody's business. I don't mind my family, nobody. And, you know, 
is dangerous. Mm. Yes, you have agreed before man. Yes, God has accepted it, but you have no spiritual covering over your mm. marriage. And the, the dispensation we are in, they are making this serious issue a, a mistake, sorry. Mm -hmm. They marry without covering over the marriage. It's not good. You have to know that marriage is a divine thing. Yes. And whatever is divine, Satan is against. Yes. Satan is fighting. So you need the covering over. Yes. You understand? Yes. Yes. So if there is a tribal issue regarding your marriage, and then you are going ahead to get married because you know when you have checked everything with a confirmation that this is the one. Don't go alone by yourself. Mm. Have the spiritual parents to back you up, yes. to give you a spiritual shield and covering so that spiritually, when there is anything attacking you, you have the covering mm. over that marriage. Amen. A lot of marriage, they are wow. naked in the spirit. Mm. They don't have no spiritual covering. No. Yes. So I don't know if I'm answering the yes. question right. Thank you so much, Thank Prophet. Um, what does Sister Sister say? Okay. Ah, Sister Sister. Okay, she says, Good evening, Papa. I just got connected. Please, I have some number of guys shown interest in me, but none of them falls under the prophecy you gave me five months ago. Please, what do Five I do? Months. I don't even remember. <laughs> she said, what do I do? I should still wait. Well, Sister Esther, if Let you're come. here... Let her yes. come. Let her come. In. If you're here, come, on, come and Zoom. Come and Zoom and you can speak to, to the man of God. Just come and Zoom, please. Yeah, okay. Even yesterday's prophecy, I don't remember. Five. <laughs> she said five months ago. Yes, my sister. What was the prophecy? Excuse me. Okay. You said I'll meet, I'll meet a, guy a guy from the from bank. The bank. Uh -huh. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Uh, and that, that was the only thing you said. said. You said it will happen. Yes, you said it will happen after five months, like in five months' time. Okay. And the five months has passed. And then the five months you are meeting people. I mean, after you are meeting people. Okay. Now let's break it down. This okay. is very important. Everybody listening, please listen to this. The prophecy was she's going to meet somebody at the bank mm -hmm. after five months. Mm -hmm. Now, when did the guy start coming? Hello? Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. When did the guys, when did the couple of guys started coming? When, about what in, what month? The space time. The, space. Yeah, the space that the first one came. And after, and after three, three months, months later, later then, 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 then they started, they started coming. coming. Three months after the five months, which is seven months later. Okay. Yes, yes Papa. Papa. Good. Now, none of them are bankers, right? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? I, I think her audio, her audio. This is a very, you see what I'm mm. heading to. Oh, <laughs> I think your connection is a bit low. None of them are bankers, but you have to check. Do they have any banking background yeah. like accounting mm -hmm. anything that is related to nice. money is anybody studying in that you see because they are it's a mm. field of its own yes. uh -huh. she talk to me something. one of them <laughs> one of them has a, a back you see that, I think her connection is, yes. You see, she said one of them. Mm -hmm. So the prophecy is accurate, but mm -hmm. just, she is waiting for somebody to appear from the bank. Bank, right, as a banker, yes. Mm. So that one of them, give them a chance and go follow through the process. <laughs> God bless you. I bless it in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> we thank God. Oh God. So whoever... <laughs> 
let me yes, come. Go ahead, Whoever go ahead. you are here, you will receive a prophecy. Yes. You know? Yes. Like her. Right. We thank God she came. Mm -hmm. And she, we thank God she's asking. Mm -hmm. Ask. Don't get confused. Because this one, she, she could have missed her chance. Right. Because after the prophetic word, seven months later, yes. they started start coming. They started coming. And the right one is involved. There's a bank. There's a, that uh, yes, has, you know, that accounting there. background, yes. whatever. Mm -hmm. It means that, according to the prophecy here, in the future, mm -hmm. that man with that accounting background will enter into... In wow. Mm -hmm. You see the prophet? Yes. <laughs> so, oh, Jesus. yes. So <laughs> you have received any type of prophecy, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lady that came to church yesterday. She said she, re she received a prophecy. Yes. And I told her to just come online to testify. I don't know if she's on, you know. Okay. And beginning, her, her, her prophecy was also a bit like this. As she I was stress. a bit, yes. Mm. I said, come on, why are you stressing yourself? <laughs> this, 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 this. I explained to her she wanted exactly what the prophetic word was. Mm -hmm. Exactly what is happening. And she's so happy. Wow. You know, so sometimes it's our way of interpreting it. Mm -hmm. It's so simple. You see, yes. Esther was waiting for the exact banker. <laughs> right? Yes. But it was, he was already there. That's right. We thank God. But we just not God. in the bank. We thank God. So I don't know who this sister is, but if you're on, you know, you can come on and you can uh, just testify about the prophecy that you got. Let us know, let us know, just as Esther did. If you're here, don't be shy. Come on in and let us know. Uh, what is Esther saying? I received mine. Started, Rita says, I received mine. Started my new job today. Wow. Oh, wow. So let it. What Rita, is it? Yeah. where are you? <laughs> what did you receive? Come on Zoom and let us know, please. We want to hear from you. Come and Zoom, Rita. Whilst we are waiting for the team to bring Rita uh, to, to... I now. am here. Okay, she's, she's here. here. But we can't see you, Rita. You don't, you see, don't me? see me? Wait, they are bringing you. <laughs> they, they are bringing you right now. <laughs> before, before they bring Rita yes. here... Um, uh, this midnight yes. from today yes. is the midnight we are starting the prayer for business, the direction yes. for business. Mm -hmm. So if you have a business, you know, you want to uh, venture into any business, yes. we have a seven days direction. Amen. For all of you guys that have businesses, you want to enter into business, you have started the business. We are starting tonight. Those that send their, their names, you have received a word, meaning a text message, mm -hmm. letting you know. Media team, is Rita coming? Letting you know. That I am here. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So give us your, what is it? What was the testimony? Yes, yes I, received I received a prophecy that I'm going to start, start a new job, or somebody job, close to me is going to start a new job. job. And I told I you it was me, like, like changing, changing jobs, jobs, finishing school, changing, changing jobs. jobs. Uh -huh. So I, I got, got um, um, I started, started the job. job. But yeah. I think um, the same week you were prophesizing to my friends, and for you talking about a badge, it was me getting my badge that same week. So I think I was like kind of connected to Zanfa in a way. So I keep telling Zanfa, it's me that getting the badge, it's not you. <laughs> so like all that like was <laughs> amen, amen, yeah. Amen. yeah. Oh, Thank glory you so be to much. Jesus. I pray Thank for you. you in the name of Jesus yes, Christ Lord. that this job will be permanent. Amen. That God amen. will bless you in the mighty name. It is, yeah, amen. 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 That you will have favor in the job. That you will not be troubled in that amen. job. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bless you, bless you. Amen. amen. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Prophet, yes. uh, uh, you have a few minutes here, but then uh, Esther is still speaking to you. Yes. Esther says, but Papa, please, <laughs> he's not an active Christian. Now, he doesn't even <laughs> go to church. Okay. So, so he's a Christian, but not an active, active one. Yes. 
Esther, I think you did not follow our three days love story. Right. Thing. Go on YouTube or go on Facebook from Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Go and listen to the teachings. And I think it is going to help you out. Yes. Amen. Amen. It Praise is going God. To, if he's a Christian, but he's not active. Is she in the L or huh? the O? Huh? What letter is Esther supposed to go into? L or O? <laughs> you are entering into the... <laughs> <laughs> he's a Christian, but he's not active. So where Esther have to really focus, mm -hmm. number one is the L. Right. Right? Right. Number O2 is in part. It's part of it. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Esther has to also look at the V. Mm -hmm. So she has to look at every side. If she, it works, it means that maybe she has not gotten somebody that will encourage him to right. be active in the things of God. Right. You got it. Maybe Esther can do that. That's what I'm saying, that <laughs> she, should, she should go yes. and listen to all the teachings mm -hmm. and it's going to help her Amen. because if we are to go back again mm -hmm. i think time will not favor us yeah yes thank god Amen. so i i believe we are, we have come to the end of this evening program it, we have is 741 um nasby says papa i just need to meet my millionaire <laughs> that you have prophesied on me a couple of months ago Amen. Mm. Amen. Praise God. You are going to meet him in Jesus' name. Amen. My only thing is also position yourself. Yes. Because if you are just sitting, it's not going to come to No. You position yourself. You see, one of the area to, to see prophetic word being fulfilled yes. is believing in the word and putting action to it. Mm -hmm. Put action to the word. If you're just sitting down, don't put action, nothing, nothing will happen. So I pray that as you put action to it, God will fulfill his word in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Yes. yes. So as I was saying, tomorrow night, we are going to meet from 9 p.m. on the prayer line. Please remember not to come alone. Invite someone when you're coming. I want to just thank everybody for connecting this evening. Thank you for asking your questions. God richly bless you. At this time, you know what, what is about to take place. It is a moment when our prophet has been released to do what he does best. So he's about to prophesy to a few people this evening. If you have any background noise, we are asking you to kindly mute the noise. Have you watched any extra virgin olive oil with you? Praise God. So the multimedia team is ready to bring someone on right now. And you have to let them know, those that their cameras are off, we right. are not bringing them. So. Yes, sorry. If your cameras are off, the team already knows that if your cameras are off, they will not bring you on. So you want to receive a prophetic word this evening? You want to hear what God is saying to you? Today, please turn your cameras on. Thank you for your obedience and God bless you. Is somebody here? Is the team. Yes, multimedia team. Who do we have? Prophet, yes, we have someone here. Hello, man of God. Today God has favored you. <laughs> Please, if it's not your turn, humbly mute yourself for us as well. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I lift up your servant before you. Yes, Lord. The Lord said that I should pray for you, man of God. Please, can you hear me? Please, am I coming through? Can you hear me? Hello, man of God. Can you hear me? Hello? I can hear you. Okay. As I was praying for you, the Lord took me in the realm. And I saw an attack. I saw an attack. In the realms of the spirit, I saw three flies. And the flies were a bit uh, strange. And I saw that they were like 
picking, I know, you know, it's like a bug, when a bug, but they are flies and they kind of pinching yeah. your head. And all of a sudden I saw you sit at somewhere and it looks like you were having a serious kind of, I don't know how to call it, I will use the word migraine, but a serious problem with the head. And all of a sudden I saw that you went and picked something like a medication. Still, after you took the medication, you were having this serious problem. And God said, I should pray for you because there is an attack the enemy has released. And it is in the area of your head. It is in the area of your head. I am praying that it has not started. There's somebody, your microphone, you are closer to somebody. So there's having a feedback. If you are closer to somebody, get far away because it's distracting me. Amen. It's like a feedback. Yes. Thank you very much. The Lord said I should pray for you. The Lord said I should pray for you. I should pray and come against this because if not, it is going to be serious that it will turn into a chronic issue. It will turn into a chronic issue. You will go and do scans. You will receive medications. Still, it will be happening. And it's going to intensify. Please, are you listening to me? Hello? Yes, please. Okay. Out of curiosity, I want to know, is anything as such started? Have you been observing anything like in the area of the head, in the area of the brain like that? It's mild, mild headache, but not long, no prolonged ones, just within a short period, like 30 minutes, then it goes mm. but. but, but. Mm. How, when did it start? I think in the week. In the week. So it has already started. Mm. If you listen to the prophetic word, it's going to increase as time goes on. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be like you would take a medication, but still the thing will come. And it is going to turn into a chronic issue. You will go through scan and everything. They will not find anything. Let me ask you one more question. And please, as I'm asking you this question, get an oil for me, please. Get an oil for me. During this week, how many times has it occurred? How many times this week did it manifest? Maybe four, four, four. Four or five, five times. times. I may say maybe five times. Yeah, mild, yeah, and then it goes away. Wow. Five times. That is serious. Please drop oil on your head. Somebody type, thank you, Jesus, for the revelation. Mm. Come on, connect, connect prophetically. You should know how to connect. Jesus. Type, thank you, Jesus. As you connected, you listen to Rita's testimony. There was a prophetic word given to the friend. That somebody with the taking their their tag or how we call it, badge. their car badge, yes, mm -hmm. and it was Rita, Amen, on that Zoom, yes. that happened to be the friend mm -hmm. that was being prophesied on. Yes. Tap into it as you bless the Lord, thank the Lord during prophetic moment like this, you are trying to tap into the grace that is working. Man of God, did you anoint your head, please? Just anoint the head itself. Let me know when it's done, please. It's done, please. And put your right hand on it. And put just a little pressure, just a little pressure in the middle. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
We give you all the glory and we give you all the adoration. You are God that always answer your people's prayer. We give you all the praise because only you can do this. By the counting of three, Father, by the reason of this oil, I reverse this attack now. In the name of Jesus, to wherever it is coming from, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare this attack reversed. In the name of yes, Jesus, Lord. one, listen to me as I declare something will happen. There's going to be like a, 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 a how do you call it? A sharp, sharp pain, mm. very sharp. In the area of like the forehead here, through to the head. Mm. Listen to me carefully. The forehead here, through to the head. As I said Sunday, anytime I'm saying something because I'm seeing it mm. or I'm witnessing it. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the counting of three, Lasu Makati Basha, right now, I reverse this attack to where it is coming from. And I proclaim total deliverance for your servant. One, two, three, go. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm seeing that the thing has got out and he has gone to a lady mm. with a scarf and the lady name is Aku. Mm. Aku. Aku. Is he getting me? Aku. Can, is it frozen or it's, I don't know what's going on. No, I think he can hear you. You can hear me. This thing has to remove. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you felt that sharpness but I see that the thing has gone to a lady, and that lady is Aku. 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 Mm. Aku. Aku. It's like Aku something. S something. The thing has reversed. Mm. I saw the lady with the, um, you know, that mm. scarf. Yes. In Africa, in Ghana, we call it Duku. Mm. Like Duku, like that. Mm-hmm. And the thing went mm-hmm. on the lady. Mm-hmm. I don't know who is Aku. But this thing have gone to Aku, and it's going to terrify or trouble Aku. Okay, Haina, do you know anybody by the name Aku? It's it looks like I don't know a family relation or a standard family stuff. Aku, 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 like Aku she she mm-hmm. something. Mm. Aku shika or Aku she something. Do you know anybody by that? Don't don't worry yourself. Go it's, uh, not, 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 not. Uh, it's a common name that somebody related in the family can have. No, yeah. it's yeah. this thing is a family thing. There, mm. I've seen that the thing has moved from you and gone to her. The reason why I'm telling you that she's going to, you are going to see it happening, because she's going to go to hospital. It will not work. Buy mm. medications. It will not work. The thing will be terrible to a point that when it happens, the same way like it, it, they have meant for him, mm-hmm. when it happens, the lady will be like, like, a, mm. like, like a dead person, mm. can't do nothing. The thing will go the on and that king, the thing will frustrate this lady. Mm. Go search who is Aku, Aku in your family, okay? It is done. God bless you. Amen. Bring somebody else. When you are coming, please turn your camera on in the name of Jesus and let God help us. Amen. Let God help us. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We are waiting for you, media team. Come on, come on. Let God use you to help somebody. Amen. I want to pray for Colleen. I'm just flipping. I'm seeing Colleen. Okay. Colleen, Colleen, Colleen. Okay. Colleen, I'm just seeing right now, media team, sorry for the interruption. Uh, 
That's fine. Colleen, I don't know what took you to the hospital. I don't know if you are in the hospital, you went to the hospital. But once I was flipping through it, I saw Colleen. And I, yes. Co Colleen, yes. And I saw Colleen was lying on an hospital bed. Yes. And I saw that it's not something that is about to happen, but it's something that is about to be repeated. Mm. It's like not the first time. Mm -hmm. Something that is about to be repeated. And the Lord said, I shall end that thing. Amen. Okay? Amen. Colin, when was the last time you went to the hospital? What, you took, what took you there? I got in a falling accident. I fractured my spine. I'm paralyzed. So I went to that this six years, over six years ago. Jesus. God loves you because Amen. usually I don't go through mm. this. It's the media team that I have to bring people. Just, yes. Look at this. Yes. I just picked up my phone yes. and went through. The moment I went through, I said, Colin, Colin, Colin. And I saw that something took Colin at the hospital. Mm -hmm. And Colin is going back to the hospital. Oh, but this time it would going to be terrible. Mm. And God said that things will not repeat. Jesus. You got Amen. an accident. You frustrated your spine. Jesus. Talk to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now as you're talking, you are paralyzed. Yep, 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 yep. Meaning yes, one, one half of your body is not working or mm -hmm. you can't walk. I can't, I can't walk. walk. I can, I can use, use my hands, hands but, but I cannot walk. walk. Okay, so you can use your two hands. I am paralyzed, paralyzed from, from, from my waist. Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Colin, you have all your there. Mm. Yeah, I have, I have oil, oil. Yeah, yeah. Let me pray for you very quick. I know I cannot spend all the time on you because mm. we have people that... <laughs> but I'm going to start. I'm going to start. And it's my prayer that I think I can have one-on-one -on -one with you, mm. okay? And Sister Cecilia, if you are yeah. watching, people have been complaining that they have been calling the church line mm. and they are not getting you. So please, pick up oil, pick up. You have olive oil there. Yeah, I have olive oil. Pick it up. Is it blessed already? No, it's no, not. No, no, no. I am very curious, curious of something. Do you know why? Mm. Because you are with me here. Mm -hmm. Usually I don't go. Yes, go. Yes. So I just took a flip, it, saw you and saw you at the hospital. Mm. So it means that you may be praying certain prayer before you came on the line. Maybe. In order for God to intervene okay, like sir, this. Yes. I want to ask you, what, what prayer did you pray before you came? Because it's not normal mm. that I'm waiting for the media. I will just yeah. pray. I, 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 she agree with you. I pray that you will call my name today. Amen. It's what not a God, what a see, mighty God. <laughs> that's why I was Glory curious. To Jesus. Because yeah. I don't do this. I don't pick up the phone. I always say if the media team bring you, means you are blessed. <laughs> yes. It means that your prayer works. As I, as I, as I actually said, as I actually said it, and then I hear you said, Colleen, I say, what? So quick. <laughs> I just said it. I just said it. <laughs> wow. That is good. People of God, listen. Jesus. God hears prayers. Amen. That's why I always tell you, when the prophetic grace is at work like this, connect yourself. Mm. Amen. She said she just prayed that prayer. Right now, And yes. immediately... You call the I name. call the name. Yes. And I don't even have to call your name, honestly. Yes. Because amen. I'm not the one. So I'm, her prayer is breaking protocol. Right there. For her, what? That's what, right. What, what? That's right. Somebody learn from this. Learn That's from right. this one. Faith is very important. Mm -hmm. And you know, today, I'm, I'm coming to you. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Today, I was just under the shower mm -hmm. and I was meditating. One of the areas I love. When mm -hmm. I go there, it's hard for me to come out. Mm -hmm. I love the half time with God. Yes. And I heard God telling me, next month, March, mm -hmm. I want you to focus on faith. 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 And this is what Jesus. the lady just did. It just confirmed. Mm -hmm. Because this is faith. Mm -hmm. Pick up the oil. Jesus. Colin, pick up the oil. Mm. It's not the cooking oil, right? <laughs> no, it's only it's only for you. Okay. <laughs> the oil looks like fry fry <laughs> You know, fry <laughs> It's only for you. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, 
To you be all the glory, Lord. To you be all the honor. No man can do this. Thank you for answering the prayer of your daughter, Colleen. To show her that you hear her and you love her. Father, as you have answered her prayer, I pray that your power will prevail right now. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I release your power into this oil. I release your grace into this oil. As calling, apply this oil. In the name of Jesus, let there be life in her legs. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Colleen, are you alone in the house or there is somebody there? My son is with me. Okay, how old is your son? 14. Let your son get closer to you and if you can put the microphone on piece, uh, speaker. Put it on speaker so that your son can hear. Yeah, yeah, it's already on speaker. Okay, Colleen, listen to me. No, don't put it back. Yeah, do something for me. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen to me. So, in, yeah, your, yeah, two, yeah, in yeah. your two legs, right? You don't feel yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't feel it at all, or you can just not walk. Do you feel the legs? I, I cannot feel a hand touch or like or anything. anything. I, I feel like sensation if it's, it's hot or if it's too cold. Mm. But that's it. So if it cannot be moved on my I only I could use my hand and move it, but it can't be moved on its own. I'm not talking about moving. So when somebody touch the leg, you don't feel that somebody touch the leg. No, 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 no. Okay. Now, I don't know how you do this. That's why I call your son. Let your son anoint the waist area. You know, where the spine comes in, the waist area. And let your son anoint your feet. And let your son anoint your knees for me. Do it very quickly. Okay. We will come to you. Media team, Jesus. please. Bring up somebody next. Mm. Wherever you are, don't just turn your camera waiting for the prophet. Copy mm. something good from Colleen. Mm. Faith, connect to whatever is happening. Mm. You see, good things are good when we copy them. Yes. Because good things happen to us. Amen. 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 When you copy bad things, bad things will happen to you. Media team, bring me somebody very quick as we are waiting for Colleen to do that. Turn your cameras on, please. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Are they coming? Are they coming? Turn your cameras on so the team can pick you up. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hello, how are you doing? I'm blessed, bro. How are you doing? My God, please. Even though we can't see your face, but lift up your right hand. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I give you all the praise. Hello, how are you doing? Hi, bro. I, I want to, is that Mr. Della? I don't know. He's sounding like, I don't know, but we don't see you. So, uh, I don't know. pray that you will not bury, listen to this, pray very serious that you will not bury somebody you love, that you are praying for God to keep them before you have the chance to see them. Mm. Hello? Amen. Yes, yes, please. Please, please, please. I said pray that you will Amen. not bury somebody you love, mm. that you are praying for God to give you the chance to see them before, if God will take them, God will take them. Amen. I am curious of the prophecy. I mm -hmm. have you pray any prayer that Father Lord give me the chance to see this individual before, if you are going to take them to heaven, you take them. Have you pray any prayer? To, for God to keep anybody for you to, you know, have the chance, have the opportunity, or doors should be open for you to, you know. I'm, uh, two, I'm praying for my father-in-law. 
that uh, uh, um, I saw in a vision something I wrote, mm -hmm. but I'm also praying that uh, if, uh, you know to get opportunity to go and see my mom too. But for the person that um, about a death or something or whatever, it's more of for my father-in-law. You are going to interpret the prophecy for me. I don't want to interrupt, but I yes. believe this is Ben that got this prophecy before. Ben, am I correct? Who is that? I don't know. He sounds like Mr. Della. No, this person's name is uh, Ben. No, it's, it's Mr. Della. Don't worry. He knows, he knows, he knows my this voice. This is so. Mr. Della? That's what I told you. I said it's, it looks like Mr. Della. But did, okay, Mr. Della, did you get this prophecy before? Yes, yes, similar, yes, yes some time back. Yes. Because even the, even, you see, I'm looking at the shadow and it's like, it's this, I see it's the same figure. We don't person, see you, honestly. Right? It's, it's very dark where you are. Maybe you are binding the yeah. You are binding the demons. It's fine. You know? Go no, 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 no. Uh, 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 I'm telling of the light. I'm telling all the light right now. So, oh, oh. Okay. maybe it's going to be better. Yeah. Oh, now we can see. Me, I don't see the face. Now it's I can see. It's, it's, it's Mr. Della here. But yeah. that's good. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what God gave me. Pray mm -hmm. that God, listening to the prophecy, will keep somebody you are praying that God will give you the chance to see before before that's why mm -hmm. i ask you are you praying mm -hmm. for god to hold somebody mm -hmm. or keep somebody that you will go and see mm -hmm. before if god would take them so i don't know you said there are two people mm -hmm. your father-in-law and your mother yes your father-in-law you had a dream about him mm -hmm. and your mother you have been praying mm -hmm. so the prophecy is not your father-in-law right your prophecy is your mother. Yes. So we are praying. For my mother, the reason I'm saying I, I'm not praying, but just that uh, I want to just go to, go, go to Ghana and I go that, see her. That is your desire. But it's not I'm praying that I should. That is your desire. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So you have said it in your heart. Mm. Yes. 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 So it's a prayer. prayer. Yes. Simple. <laughs> so we are going to pray for both of them. Okay? Mm -hmm. But I'm going to pray for your mom. Mm -hmm. And then we will pray for your father-in-law. Please, when the lady is done, uh, lift Colleen. up your hand, Colleen, so that right after here, I can bring you up. Okay? We are praying, but please, take time and pray. If you can, this week, make it your prayer point. Right? Hello. Okay, bro. Yes, please. I can hear you. Make it your I can hear you, bro. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you have revealed this in the name of Jesus because this is not the time. Any spirit of death hovering around in the name of Jesus to end any life. Father, we pray that your angels will be released. Yes, Lord. In the name of Amen. Jesus, in the family of your son, Amen. to protect yourself, O oh God, the mother in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Anything left in the spirit that will be a sort of attack over, O oh God, her life. In the name of Jesus, her health, her breath, breathing, in the name of Jesus. I come against Amen. the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I lift up the Father-in-law in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Let your grace, O oh God, locate him. Lord, whatever is happening Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ, yes, you are God and you can change things. Father, we pray in the name Amen. of Jesus, like Ezekiel prayed, mm. that you will add more years to his age. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, strengthen him. Yes, Amen. Any spirit that want to Amen. end him, Father, we cancel it in yes, the mighty Lord. name of Jesus. Amen. Christ. Lord, we thank you when we pray Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Does, does your mom have Amen. Does your mom has a breathing issue? No, please. no please. please. She doesn't have no breathing issue. If I say 
breathing issue like yeah no 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 she hasn't she complained has about, about it so we talk almost every day but she hasn't complained about it so i'm not sure okay pray, yeah yeah pray against that i'm seeing her difficult she's having difficulty of like she breathes, but it doesn't it's, it's not hard. consistent yeah okay all right god richly bless you Let's okay, okay, okay i think colleen says, thank you bro. god bless you i think Is colleen, colleen says she's ready Is she's ready yes because there's a prophecy here from from zo and it's very interesting but uh you oh, you're yeah. gonna finish with uh colleen okay. is here yes colleen put your right hand at the back of your waist can you do that if not let your child do it yeah, yeah. I, can, I, can, I, can. I can do it close your eyes and take it very serious what we are doing okay father we thank you yes lord and we give you all the glory Lord, you always show up, O oh God, and you always reveal yourself through your word, through prophecy, through signs, through wonders. Mm. Father, right now, I release your angels of operation right now. At wherever Colleen is, angels of operation in the name of Jesus. What man cannot do mm. is what God do. It's what you do to bring glory to Jesus. Right now, touch this waist, touch this knee, touch this feet in the name of Jesus. Operate it right now. Operate it right now. The daughter of God says that she can't even feel when somebody touches her. She can only sense cold or hot from the waist down. My God, Lasumaba, angels of deliverance, whatever that have gone wrong in the spine, in the bones, Jesus. in the tissues, in the marrow, Wait, in the veins, right now, Jesus. in the name of Jesus, God. right now, by the counting of three, do it and bring glory to Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ah, oh, my God, my God, my God. My God. Colleen, something is happening. And it has started from the heart. I'm seeing that the heart. Lisa Bakuri Asata. One in the name of Jesus. Two in the name yes, of Jesus. Lord. Three angels of God right yes. now. Start that work in the name of Jesus. Total oppression right now. Total oppression right now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, I thank you. Lord, I give you all the glory. Jesus. Lift up your voice and thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for what is happening. Right now. Thank the Lord for what his angels are doing right now. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Let there be a total oppression now. Yes, Jesus. A total oppression now. From the knee, the leg, Jesus. the waist, the spine. Angels of God right now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Colleen, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Do you feel anything strange? Do you feel any sensation, anything happening? Any movement? Talk to me. Do you feel anything? I'm less? feeling a, you, a, a fire, a fire like sensation in my legs. Mm. You're feeling fire sensation in your legs. Okay, close your... What part of the leg, please? Is it the... the, the my my the, two legs, right, 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 my whole right, leg, right, right, come right, right up right, to my waist. Okay, okay, close your eyes. Father, we give you all the glory yes, right Lord now. Jesus. For what your angels are doing now. To bring you all the glory. Yasubakadi, Yasandaha, Sata. Angels of God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lassabadusheda. I pray right now, let the sensation come back. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, fix everything now. 
Operate now as you are started in the name of Jesus. From the bones, veins, tissues, marrows, Lord, blood area, spine, any organ that is malfunctioning. Now, now. Now, Jesus. now, now, Jesus. in the name of Jesus, Colin, I want you to touch your, your, your legs like you want, you want to feel it. Touch it like you want to feel it. As I'm still praying, touch. You touch the left, you touch the right. The part you can touch like you want to feel it. Okay? I should bless the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And that was broke Whatever that is malfunctioning, angels of oppression right now, angels of oppression right now, do it and bring glory to Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. 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 We worship you. Thank you, Lord. We honor you. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, In the name of Jesus. Thank Somebody, you. wherever you are, don't Please. just watch. Bless the name of the Lord. Come on, tune into it in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord do it and take all his glory. Father, we thank you. Now, Colleen, as you touch the leg, like you want to feel the legs, is there anything different that you are realizing compared to before? Can she hear me? No. I, I, I am hearing you, but I'm still just, I'm just feeling just like fire is in my okay. legs. It's really, really, really hot. It's okay. It's okay. Let the, but I'm not feeling my heart. You know, as yet. Okay. But touch it. Touch, or let your son, call your son to touch your, you know, touch you like somebody is touching you. I don't know if the camera can capture how I'm doing it. You see how I'm doing it, like touching it like this, you know, touching it like that, like touching it like this, you know, let your son touch it like that. Like a poke. Yes. Touch it like that, like poking mm -hmm. form like mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. and talk to me. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Do it very quick because I have a lot of people. As I said, I can't do it. Spend the time only on you. Amen. But I'm going to start it and we'll get the one on one and I will help you. Do it. Is your son touching like a poking form? Um, like this. Camera catch capture how I'm 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 you know. Please. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing you. Yes. Let the is he doing it? Touch my leg like that. Like that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration. Lapakusha, King of Glory, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, we bless you, O oh God, that you always do and take all your glory. Yes, Lord. Is your son doing it? Yeah, he is doing it. Okay. Do you feel any? difference even if it's slightly different compared to before even if it's small you know compared to before do you feel anything as such yeah i'm i'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little when he to, wherever his part is touching a little mm. what do you hear you says wherever uh, okay, so wherever he's touching I'm, I'm like feeling this sensation the feeling the touch in a small way like when it's like when a breeze breeze just when breeze touching his skin it feels like that you feel like there's a touch like yes like a breeze okay uh, I don't know if we have time. Tell mm. your son to keep on doing that. Mm -hmm. Keep on touching different places. Jesus. Different That's places. Different places. So if I understand, she feels about... Like you see like little. the wind blowing? That's right. Like yes. little. Yes. Very small. Yes, yes. Lord. Kimakashi. Asamadusibasha. Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Now I'm seeing that there's something like uh, I don't know how to explain it, but there's a sensation that have moved or that is moving in the legs. 
I don't know how to explain that kind of sensation. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Angels of oppression, right now. In the name of Jesus. La Supakata, continue. Continue to operate the daughter of God right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. La Supakore Atobasa. Lizan Dubra Asubra. Lisa Otanubra Kabrosha. Lisa Dabakurutaya Diba. Lisa Makuru Kataliba. Jesus, that that Jesus, 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 I thank you. Has it changed or is the same intensity? It's the same, it's the same, it's still feeling the same. Okay. Father, I thank you. Lord, I bless you. Yes, Lord. Lord, I give you the glory for what you have started in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray that the angels will continue their work yes, in the name of Jesus Christ. My sister, listen to me as I promise you. I think we have, um, it's 820 right now. Okay. I want you to take this number as I told you. Take this number for me, very quick. Call, call, call me. Not right when we finish, because we have to pray here, okay? Text me, I'm going to do one-on-one -on -one with you. Very, very important. Let me give you the number. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank God. 470 Four three nine seven four three nine three nine one zero. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Sister Karen, you don't have any question regarding this. This issue, because of how it has done, we call something working of miracle. Mm -hmm. So I have to work the miracle with her. Yes. That's what I've started. There is a sign. She feels very That's why you were rubbing That's your... why. Okay. So then I have to, from this place, go this place, go this place, go this place. And then when I see that the thing has worked out, I'll tell her, try to stand. Try mm. to do this. And she's not face to face, right? Right. So it will need more time. But were you feeling anything in your legs? Yeah, you... I'm still feeling it right ah. now. It's like, um, uh, I mm. don't know, kind of strange feeling mm -hmm. here. I'm feeling my own here, yes. and I'm feeling one here too. Oh. Yes. But I can't... Oh, you know, Jesus. Yeah. But God will do it because Amen. he takes his own glory. Amen. Yeah. We thank God. So text me, and we are going to agree on time, on a, uh, a time that is convenient to you, that your son will be there because your son has to be there. Yes. So that things will be easier. Amen. Or somebody that will be in the house, you know. All right. God bless you. Over to you now. Amen. Thank you so much, Prophet. God bless you, people. You God said the testimony. Share yes. it before you leave. I have to get the testimony. But uh, Zo, where, where is Zo? Zo, where are you? I want the multimedia team to bring Zo. I know you sent in the testimony, Zo, but I also know that you are on Zoom. So I want you to come on and share your testimony, please. Thank you so much for coming on. God bless you. So go ahead and share your testimony, please. My, my first revelation from the prophet was sometime last year where he said that um, there's a lady from the church that she did something to my head and so forth. And he told me to use the water and the oil. So yes, I was using it and so But um, Two Saturdays ago, I understand that the lady took ill, went to the hospital, and they said that it is a stroke, and right now she has a small crack in her head. Amen. 
Well, so that's not the whole testimony, yeah? So me now, I am about no, to... No, I, 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 I take out some. some. <laughs> no, but you missed something too, because I want to I wanna do it. I'm going to do it now, if you don't mind. So Zo says, okay, okay. Prophet, you prophesied to me some months ago. My very first prophecy was a lady put something in my head. A lady from my church. Long story short, you said I would dream about it. I did saw yes. her several times in my dream, apologizing, kneeling, and begging for forgiveness. On yes, the 5th yes. of several February, times. the lady took ill and went to the hospital. She has a stroke, and, 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 her, and I heard she has a crack in her head at the moment. Right. So thank you so much, Zo, for sharing this testimony. She prophet. has not seen nothing yet. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Unless you accept her apology. Amen. If you accept her apology, <laughs> then if you don't accept... <laughs> she accepted... No, that happened in the dream. Of but, course. But did she it happened in the dream. dream. If she accepts in the dream, in the it will dream. happen in the physical. Because whatever... Uh -huh. The dream is in the spiritual. Yes. So whatever God revealed, whatever prayer we prayed, it's yes. in the spiritual. Yes. Now she's okay. seeing it and she's trying to apologize for her yes. to forgive her. So the moment she forgives so, her, mm -hmm. the prayer we have prayed is a waste. will be nullified. So, because okay, uh, I understand the prayer that. was that it's going to go back to the sender. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. If not, then she would die through this. Mm. Yeah. That's why wow. you don't have to be wicked when you would live in. Right. Amen. 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 If you are wicked, repent. There is somebody I'm just seeing. I know time is far gone. Mm -hmm. um, I'm seeing their comment. He said, what God cannot do does not exist. It just kept, caught my attention. Arusha, there is somebody you, you dated or you... You were in a relationship. The person wants to come back, but don't accept them. I don't want them to bring you because the time is up right mm -hmm. now. I'm seeing somebody, a man, mm -hmm. that was in her life mm -hmm. that is not, but the man wants to come back. And when, the, when she accepts the man, the man is coming to cause a lot of damage. Serious mm -hmm. one. That, that will affect her for a long time. So... A word to a wise is enough. Amen. Over to you. Thank you, Prophet. People of God, God bless you so much and thank you for connecting this evening. Thank you for sharing your testimonies and thank you for bringing your questions in. Praise God. Sister Shana, thank you also for posting that number for Colleen that Prophet just gave just in case she missed it. So here, we have come to the end of the program. I want to remind you all tomorrow of our prayer line from 9 p.m. I also want to just uh, remind, you're going to hear me just uh, doing this one announcement. I will be repeating it because I believe it's important for uh, sowing the $100 seat towards the church building. We are hoping to buy an, our own building in the next five years. So, of course, we have to prepare for that, so we are asking the $100 monthly. If you can do more than the $100, God bless you for doing so. And go ahead, choose a method on the screen right there, and you can sow whatever is on your heart to sow. But the monthly uh, donation is $100. If you can do more, go ahead and do more. We want to thank you once more. Wednesday, we will be on Zoom for Bible studies from 7 p.m. to 8.45. Praise God. Prophet, over to you. I believe I want to also apologize. People yes. that are calling the church line that uh, nobody is picking, I don't know what is going on. If there's any technical issue, okay. I'm here to find out. But I gave a number to Colleen. You can also reach us on that number if the case is very urgent. Yes. Amen so that we can help you out. I'm repeating, if you have a business, you're starting a business. Tonight, we are starting the seven days journey. Yes. Amen. The first four, four days is midnight, midnight, midnight. After that, we are switching to the AM. Amen. Where favor, grace will help us. Mm. So please, midnight tonight, right on the same Zoom you are on right now. 
The code is the same. Amen. Log on. For those that are fasting, you are going to fast according to your strength. Don't do what you can do and kill yourself before mm. your time. If not, when you go to heaven, Gabriel will tell you you have done a foolish thing. <laughs> Amen. So please, very, very important. And I thank everybody for your support. Amen. Yes. Those that, you know, you are praying and wishing that you are going to support us to secure a better place. There are some people, they have started. They are being yes. honest. They are giving every month. God richly bless you. Some have even given the whole entire year. Mm. God bless you and Amen. increase you. And please, your tax season is coming. Save some of the money and think about the things of God. Mm -hmm. Don't dream only on the red bottom high hills <laughs> and dream on other stuff. Amen. Put Amen. God in your plan and God will put you in his plan. Amen. I pray for you that grace will reach you wherever you are. Yes, that Lord. the hand of God will be strong over your life. Yes. I pray may the Lord keep you in this month of going to the deep. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord protect you and your entire Jesus, family. Jesus. May the hand of God be strong over you. I pray whatever you touch, may the Lord bless and increase Amen. it. In the name of Jesus, as we meet tomorrow, Tuesday, 9 p.m. for our prayer and our prophetic moment, may the Lord hear your cry and may the Lord come through for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, love you and there is nothing you can do about it, even when you try. Prophet, before we yes. go after life, please, multimedia team, I want to ask you something about this business that you talk about for the midnight prayer. If somebody is on, on here now and they did not hear this before, yeah, they can, come can they join? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. So if you're here and you want to join the midnight uh, prayer for businesses, you can do so on Zoom. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen.